Hi, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is the chemistry of galvanized iron. Okay, so galvanization is a process that takes iron, or sometimes steel, and adds a coating to it so it doesn't rust, and that coating is usually zinc. So, as an example, let's take a look at two iron spoons. So, these spoons are both made of iron, or Fe, chemical symbol. Now, the first one, we're going to be careless. We're just going to make our iron spoon and then we're going to let it exist in the air uh, and see what happens. And as soon as this iron spoon starts to see water or just the water that exists in the air, so air moisture, H2O, it'll start having chemical reactions. So the first thing that happens is that iron oxides are formed. Iron oxides have the chemical formula there's a bunch of different types, but it's basically you have this iron reacts with water and then oxygen to form this kind of composite here. And in addition to iron oxides, it could have iron hydroxides and it could have other iron hydroxides. So there's a bunch of different things that will happen to this spoon as soon as the iron starts to touch air. And the result is something that we've all seen, is that this spoon will rust. And so it will get covered in rust. And usually we just don't wanna deal with that. It's unsightly or it'll flake off. And so remember that rust is actually just a generic term for all of these different compounds which have been formed. So that's gross, we don't like it. So what can we do about it? Well, we can galvanize it. And galvanizing is when we take another spoon, also made of iron, and we coat it in zinc. And when we coat it in zinc, it's basically going to form a protective layer. And if the iron can't see the water in the air, or the water that you're putting it in, it won't rust. So now, only zinc sees the air. And what does zinc do? Well, it also has reactions. So first, it becomes zinc oxide, which looks like this, and then it can also form zinc hydroxide, which looks like this, and then this actually now reacts with carbon dioxide, and it can form zinc carbonate. So even with this galvanization, you're still having a bunch of different reactions happening. But the difference is, whereas this, causes rust and it's unsightly, this zinc carbonate and all of these guys are pretty much fine to look at. They're kind of inert looking, just a little bit grayish, doesn't flake off. So this spoon is still totally fine uh, even when it's made zinc carbonate. And actually this last thing, zinc carbonate, is so unreactive that it really is a nice finish. It won't really mess with anything once this has all been formed. I'm Robin Higgins and this has been the process of galvanized iron.